if we have a joint tenancy where one person moves out maybe midterm and is replaced by another, the landlord needs to be really, really careful about how they deal with the deposit. We've seen scenarios of where the landlord has just left the tenants to sort it out between themselves, not issued any prescribed information, not entered the tenancy, not uh, drawn up a new tenancy agreement, not reprotected the deposit, and it's become a real mess. So landlords, the first tip really is manage that transaction, know who's going in, know who's going out, handle that money and make sure that it gets reunited to the, to the right place. Secondly, um, you've got a significant change to the tenancy, so you, it's effectively a new tenancy. Uh, you might do it by amending the old one, but you should re-protect the deposit and you should notify your tenancy deposit protection scheme. You should also issue prescribed information uh, to all of the tenants so that they know what the score is. But moreover, uh, the chances are you're not going to be drawing up a new inventory for that amended tenancy. So you need to make sure that the incoming tenant is accepting the liability as per the original inventory. So amending the tenancy, putting a clause into that effect, but also showing uh, the new tenant the inventory so that they know what they're signing themselves up for. Uh, there's a helpful guide on the TDS website that covers this very eventuality.